everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So, Halloween is over and it is now time to start planning for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I love crafting for the holidays. As you can see, I enjoyed crafting some fun things for Halloween and now I'm already getting ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas. The next thing I'm making today is an amazing Christmas wreath. This is what it's gonna look like right here. I hope you enjoy my video. Let's get started. Let's go. For this project, you will need wire, wired ribbon, scissors, tweezers, a big, full, beautiful wreath, and lots of berries. I also have some glue uh, handy just in case I need it, and a cute little doggy to help me with my craft. First, I'm gonna start by making the wreath. I wanna make sure I have a very, very long tail because my wreath is going to be so beautiful because of this amazing ribbon. So make about a 24 inch tail. You're then going to take your wired ribbon and you're going to make a loop. It's going to be about two inches tall. And when you get finished with your loop, you're going to then twist it at the bottom and you're going to create a second loop. The second loop needs to be just a little bit bigger than the first loop. You're gonna twist that at the bottom and you're gonna take it underneath and go up the other side, make a third loop a little bit bigger than the first one but to match the second one. You're gonna twist it underneath and you're going to bring it under again. And then you're going to continue making a fourth loop and a fifth loop. At the very end, you wanna make sure that you twist again underneath so that your ribbon is all held together to make one big beautiful bow. The bow is really going to be the centerpiece of this wreath. It's going to be so beautiful. Don't cut off your ribbon because you wanna have another really long tail at least 24 inches long. You're gonna take a pipe cleaner. I chose red so that it would blend in. You're gonna put it through the middle loop and you're going to twist it underneath your last ribbon twist. That's how you're going to attach the bow onto your wreath. Next, you're gonna take your wreath and you're going to spread all of the pieces out. You wanna spread it out so that it looks exactly how you want it to be when you're all finished, so that you know where to put the berries that are going to go on your wreath and make sure everything is spaced out perfectly. So open up all of the branches and spread it out so that it looks beautiful and ready to hang once you're finished putting on your berries and your ribbon. Next, you're gonna start taking pieces of berries. You can trim them, you can cut them, you can use wire to attach them if you need to, but if you don't need to, if your berries are wired already, then you can simply take your berries and attach them to the stems of your wreath. Most of the berries that you can buy in the store are already wired, so they're very, very easy to attach. Work your way around the wreath, I went ahead and set my bow on top so that I could kind of have an idea of where the bow was going to sit and make sure to put the berries all the way around everywhere else. I just put a little bit here and a little bit there and then I kind of went back afterward and filled in. I did have all different sizes of berries, little tiny ones, bigger ones. I had some that looked like they were sparkly and some that did not because I just wanted a mixture of berries all over. I had different sized berries as well and I think that will just make the wreath look really, really special. Finish up continuing to add as many berries as you would like. Some people may want less. I liked having a lot of berries mixed throughout my wreath because I just wanted it to look nice and full. Remember there are multiple ways to attach the berries if you don't have wired berries. You can either attach them with hot glue, you can attach them with wire. You, I had some gold wire sitting out in case I needed it. You can just wrap it around the stem of the berry and wrap that around the stem of the branch um, and that'll hold it on well. Make sure to fill in any empty spots so that your wreath matches all the way around and looks beautiful. Next, you're going to attach your ribbon. But before you attach the ribbon, I wanted to take an extra piece that would go underneath my ribbon, and I will show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna fold the pieces in half, and I'm gonna trim so that I have a pretty little end, just like this. I'm going to then take another red pipe cleaner, 
and I'm going to twist it around this piece. This is how I'm going to attach it to the wreath. I'm going to attach this to the wreath underneath the bow. Just a twist on the pipe cleaner on the back side, then attach it into the wreath under the bow. Next, you're going to attach your bow to the wreath using the pipe cleaner. I want my long pieces of ribbon now to be attached. I don't want them just hanging. So I'm going to take some gold wire and I'm going to put it through the ribbon and attach it to the branches so that it looks like my ribbon is just looped all the way down. I think this will give it a more uniform look on each side, but I also think it'll hold the ribbon in place so that it doesn't just fall once I hang my wreath on my door. I used gold wire so that you couldn't see it through the ribbon, and then I cut the end of my ribbon just like I did the piece that went under my bow. I just put one side of the wire down one side, the other side down the other, and I twisted it around a branch on the back. Now I'm going to do that to the other side. You can make your loops as big or as small as you'd like. And you can attach it in as many or as few pieces as you'd like. And if you don't like yours attached, you can feel free to let your pieces just hang as well and let them hang and just be wherever they, it is that they want to be naturally. Now, I'm going to trim the end of that side and your wreath is finished. Here's my finished wreath. I think it turned out really great. Like I said, the bow was really going to be the centerpiece of this wreath, but it really helps the berries to pop out as well. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!